Hello everyone. Welcome to Worship Together Across the Diocese. My name's Cathy and I'll be leading this morning's worship with Archdeacon David who will be joining us later. Today is a really special day. It's a feast called Epiphany. It's a part of Christmas that people often forget. It might seem to you like Christmas was a long time ago, but for the church, Christmas is far too big a celebration just to have in one day. So we'll still keep on celebrating Christmas for many days to come. Maybe we're always celebrating Christmas in a way. I wonder. Hmm, let's think about that. First of all, we need to get ready. A good way to get ready is to be calm and quiet and to still our thoughts. One way we can do that is to light our candle. So as we do that, let's be really still and think about the light of God welcomed among us even now. Let's greet one another. There's a way of doing it in the church, you may know this. When I say, the Lord be with you, you say, and also with you. Shall we do that? The Lord be with you, and also with you. That's great. We might be ready to start. Are you ready? I need to look for today's story. I wonder where it can be. You think it might be? Uh, ah, yes, I think it could be this one. Yes, that looks like it might be a story. It also looks like a gift. Stories can be a gift. And this story is definitely a gift to all of us here. Would you like to see what it is? Ah. I wonder if you know this one. Here's a... Camel? A camel! There's a camel in this story. You might be guessing what it is now. Hmm. Someone carrying a gift. How many do you think there'll be? One. Two. Any more? <laughs> yes, there's three. Three wise men. There may be more than this, but this will do for now. Now the wise men were so wise that people thought that they were magic. We get our word magic from their name, the Magi. They were so wise that people thought that they were magic. But of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. One night, they saw the wild star. It was not on any of their star maps. It did not just stay put, it moved. Well, they were curious and they decided to follow it. The wise men followed the star, even though it meant going out across the dark and dangerous desert. It was dark and dangerous. People died in the desert for there was no food or water, but it didn't stop them. They kept on going. It was hard in the desert, but they did not stop all the way until they found what they were looking for. I wonder what that might be. Let's take a few moments to stop and to think about that journey. 
Think about journeys you've made. Think about journeys you might make in the future. Are they hard? Are they easy? What might you find at the end? I wonder about that. Let's stop and think. Thank you, Cathy, for helping us think about the wise men or the magi who went on that long, difficult journey following the star. I wonder what happened when they got to the end of their journey. Well, there's a song about it, isn't there? We Three Kings. They got to see the special king who'd been promised, Jesus the Messiah, the special one. The reason we call this festival Epiphany is because it means a revealing. That's what Epiphany means in an, a language called Greek that's very ancient language, still spoken today, but a very ancient language. And Epiphany means to be shown or to be revealed. And so what the wise men discovered when they went on that long journey was that Jesus, the special king, the son of God, the one who was to be revealed to the world, that's what they found. Well, if you go to see somebody special like that, it's nice to take a special thing with you, isn't it? And you probably remember this, but they took some special gifts, one of which was gold. Just like this bag. I hope you've had some nice gifts or presents at Christmas time. This is why we give presents at Christmas because of their visit to Jesus when they went to see the special one, the king who'd been promised, Jesus who changed everything forever. They took in very special gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. They all meant something very significant for each one of them. But I wonder if you were going, what would you have taken as a gift? Could be any number of things, of course. When the shepherds went, a song, which we'll think about in a minute, they might have taken one of their little lambs. The wise men took their own gifts for a particular reason, but I wonder what you'd take. Well, there is a song that contains a verse about that. And it helps me to think about what I'd offer Jesus, because for all the gifts in the world, the most precious gift of all that we can give to Jesus is ourselves. This is how the song goes. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can I give him, give my heart. So, this epiphany time, let's say a prayer about giving that to Jesus that he wants from us, our everything, our hearts, ourselves. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this special feast day of epiphany when we remember the wise men coming to visit you. As we pray today, we give you thanks for the schools in Blackpool and Kirkham Deanery and our family of schools. We thank you so much for all the children, the teachers, and all the people who support those communities. And we pray for one another, that at this time you will help us give what we should to Jesus, our very selves, that we may seek to follow him and be with him in all our ways, all our days. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen.
Thank you so much for being part of this worship. It's been lovely to be with you.